It has been 10 years since Midwest Outdoors introduced you to the First Strike Rig. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski, and today I'm in central Wisconsin. We're going to do some fishing for pike. This little unit has revolutionized tip-up fishing. And for those of you that don't Flag. know it, we'll explain it a little later. Right now we've got a fish on, and we're going to go see what we got. We're here fishing with the Kerrigan family. They are the owners and the manufacturers of the First Strike Rig. And also, my buddy here, Casey Knopf, who fishes this area quite a bit. Casey, tell us a little bit about what we're fishing here. So right now we're fishing a big mud flat. Yeah! Ooh, nice fish. We're set up for these northerns right along with these crappies, and it's been a pretty good bite lately. Spreading across is this big flat, and these northerns are cruising through. We're trying to cover as much water as possible here. Woo-hoo, baby! That's yep. the tricky thing with these, when you get like, you know, 14, 15 or more inches of ice is getting their head turned up that hole. There he is, and he's turned up. Beautiful! Get my hand out of there. There we go. Oh, that's a good fight. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to be up here. I want to go back in. Well, we will shortly. So it's perfect. You hit him right on the run. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. That is what I call crappy sandwiches right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look at that. That's a yeah. nice fish. Whoa, cool. man. Way to go, buddy! Nice. Oh, way to slime me. Hey, there you go. There you go, yeah. The pike are roaming around eating these things. These things are eating bugs and minnows in the water, but we actually also have shiner minnows that we're kind of trying to match the hatch on for the pike. So it's kind of like we're after both Flag. species. Oh yeah, it's there. Unbelievable. We have what, 15, 16 of these out and it's been the same hole every time? <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. Nice. There we go. Hang on to them. When you're on the ice, it's such more, so much, so much more of a social aspect. Five guys around this one hole catching this one fish, and we're having a good time just doing it on the ice. Oh yes! Where'd you go, there? Hey, hey. Nice job. Yes. Nice. Look at that corner of the mouth again. Beautiful. Very healthy fish here. Kind of looks fight. like us, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, so I mentioned the ten years too, and. What you do is when, when you go out fishing with people over the last, over 10 years, you become their friends. Sometimes, I mean, I even consider these guys part of my family. And it's, it's been all ice fishing these past 10 years. And we've had some great trips. We have, we got some, a lot of great memories as we <laughs> recap every time we do this. It's amazing the stories we put together together and the friendships. We, it's amazing what we put together. And it's fun to look back at it every time we come out, like you said. <laughs> we make new, new memories every time. That's right. We we'll be laughing about this one next year. <laughs> yes. yes! Yep. All right. Hang on to him. Got a little head shakes bobbing there. Well, he took a little line out, huh? <laughs> There's finally the... Scrappy. Right on! There you go. Nice job. Boy, that inhaled it too. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's way down. Good job, Larry. There, nice. nice. Little guy. Beautiful fish, though. Beautiful colors. Look at that. Even the little ones just have bellies on them. Right down. Right down. I've been saying that for the last 10 years, we've been introducing people for the, to the First Strike Rig. But for those of them ha that haven't seen it, why don't you tell us a little about it? The, the unique thing is that it turns any rod into a tip-up, right? Absolutely. It gives you the range you would get with a tip-up with all the benefits of using a rod and a reel. So the indicator clips onto any size fishing rod. You lock the flag down in such a way that the wind can't blow it up on you. You can set the sensitivity with the adjustment knob here. You can set it as light or heavy as you need based on the conditions. What makes this work are the two eyelets in front of the indicator create a loop in the line. That loop just comes back, hooks on the trigger, and you're all set. And not only do you have the unit, but you also have combos and the stands and the whole gamut, right? Absolutely. We sell the whole combos, the rod, the reel, the stand, and the indicator together. We got a fish on. Nice job. I said, just grab it before he drops it again. <laughs> oh. Nice, Ooh, nice, Oh nice. my gosh. Oh yeah. yeah. 
beautiful. Ooh. Oh, look at him go. Yeah, it came right up to the hole, and it was, it's pretty fat. Yeah. Oh, oh you can't yeah. Get, can't. You got him hooked in the back corner of that mouth, so it's tough to turn that beak up, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah! Woo! That's a good one. Nice. Oh, man. Good job. Beautiful fish. Like 30, 32? Gorgeous fish, Case. Yeah, a lot of heft for 30, 32. Look at the belly on him. No kidding. It's like a two by, it's more than a two by four. All those droppings right <laughs> there. Beautiful. That's Way gorgeous. to go. That's nice gorgeous. Nice job. What a great fish. Nice job. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> Folks, if you get weather like this, you want to come out and enjoy the outdoors. I want to thank the entire Kerrigan family for joining me today. Darren and his family, as well as my buddy Casey Knopf. Darren, how do they get in touch with their first strike? Check us out on our website, firststrikefishing.com. Hey, I'm Larry Ladowski. More Midwest Outdoors is right around the corner, and I'll catch you later.